Let's talk old 1893, Denver's oldest restaurant, the Buckhorn Exchange. And we're here today for one reason and one reason only, the feast. Wade Hall, and this is The Feast, a show where we get local celebrities to go head to head in Colorado's most epic food challenges. The winner gets a drink with this guy tomorrow night at the bar and a big ass check written to the charity of their choosing. So we sat back in the day's root tune to Buffy Bill. Moonshine and cover wagons here at the Buckhorn Exchange. On the menu, you'll find foods like rattlesnake, yak, and Rocky Mountain oysters. So we want to see what would you do if you put a Hip hop MC against a UFC fighter. Who would win that? Well, we did just that. Let's go meet the guys. See what happens. Tonight, in the blue corner, weighing in at 190, standing at 6'2, one of Denver's upcoming UFC fighters, Brandon Ruckus. My name is Brandon Thatch uh, from Denver, Colorado. I'm a welterweight in the UFC. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm very passionate about my sport. Uh, I've, I've been in martial arts my whole life. It's something I've grown up doing. My, my father was my instructor. Competing against a rapper, I could be competing against my mother and I'd still want to win. I'm competing for the Susan Komen Foundation for Breast Cancer. Uh, it's, it's something that's kind of dear to my heart. My mother uh, is in remission from breast cancer. She beat it, so it's something that I'd like to get back to. And in the red corner, weighing in at 175, standing at 6'2", one of the hottest spitters out there, repping Denver, Colorado, H. Wood. Hi everybody, my name is Brandon Bordeaux. I'm the front man for my fusion rock band, H. Wood, based here in Denver, Colorado. Colorado women everywhere I go. Five eight sounds on the ones and twos. If you cut a nigga open, bleed orange and blue. I love to inspire people and I love to motivate people and not only just with my music but also with my actions. I'm competing for the Denver Rescue Mission and I know that seems kind of cliche being from around Denver or whatever but like I just have a heart for for not having a home, you know what I mean? Are you guys ready for it? Let's do this. Let's go. Chef, bring it on out. As a trades are coming towards me, my mind is, what the fuck? You're a rapper. <laughs> like, why? Are you, what are you doing? Are you guys ready for the food? Let's do this. Yeah. Are you sure? Let's go. Let's do it. Here it is. They pull the lids off, and I immediately am thinking, that's a lot of food. And honestly, I was expecting to just see huge ball sacks. All right, guys, it is time. Cross swords. And on my countdown, you'll hear the gunshot and bone appetite. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, crowd. Three, two, one. All right, so when the contest started, I have like all these people behind me screaming and saying, oh my God, Paul. I remember looking over to Ad Hwood and I could tell by the look on his face that uh, he, he was not in his comfort zone. The, the, the fork and knife definitely was an added, uh, added plus and definitely gave me confidence. I was like, man, that's, that's definitely not the way to attack this challenge. Oysters kind of taste like calamari a little bit. I, it's just the fact that you know that they're balls, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't tried rattlesnake. I haven't tried Rocky Mountain oysters. I haven't had yak. I was I was excited to try it all, and it all looked great. H Wood here almost got the yak totally done. Oh yeah. And we still got a lot more. Ah, a few more pieces of yak for for Ruckus over here. My stomach was a little jacked up from the rattlesnake. That that was like eating a, a jar of spicy warm mayonnaise. One scoop, I kind of saw like some scales, like arise from the. From the pink, whatever it was in. So, uh, what's what's your strategy? My strategy. I, I don't know if I had a real strategy. I just knew I needed to 
to, to get it down as, as quick as possible. Man of the ball. Ooh. Man of the ball. <laughs> Come on. At wow. one point, my one of my friends was like, "H Wood, are you already getting sick?" Or like, kind of like, kind of talking a little smack to him. Are you getting oh sick? <laughs> I kind of, I, once I ran through the yak, I ran through this, the rattlesnake. I saw that Brandon was pretty much almost done, so I kind of took a little breath. Let's take a look. Right there. <laughs> well, Brandon that one. I reached over and took a piece of uh, H. Wood's cow balls and uh, definitely probably shouldn't have ate that last piece. And the winner of episode one of The Feast by elimination with his mother here, Brandon Ruckus So Brandon Thatcher wins it, he takes it home. Um, I, was, I was a little disappointed, not necessarily because I didn't give it my best, just because I, I, I let down the rescue mission. And you are donating to Breast Cancer Foundation with Susan G. Komen. Woo! Yeah, I almost got sick, but I held it down, and that's all. That's all I really can do. Is just hold it down. All in all, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast doing it. Thank you very much, and uh, I love you guys very much. Show me some support, Brandon Thatch. Signing out. Yeah, it's time to feast.